Hey guys, welcome back to Slick Chickers. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review of the Black Scorpion uh, gear uh, competition rig. Uh, so I got this rig on uh, opticsplanet.com. Uh, they're not paying me to say any of this, and uh, Black Scorpion also is not paying me to say any of this. I bought all this with my own money. Uh, but I have pretty good things to say about it so far. So I bought the rig uh, maybe about uh, I'd say maybe about two months ago, and I've shot maybe five or six local matches with it. I've done some uh, USPSA stuff and some uh, Steel Challenge stuff, and um, I have pretty good things to say about the rig so far. Uh, so the rig came with an inner Velcro belt, and then an outer Velcro belt, and then this uh, little uh, securing, I don't even know what you call it, it's just like a little hook and loop thing that kind of goes around it all to keep it all Velcroed on. You really, honestly you really don't even need it. The Velcro is pretty strong on the rig itself. Um, also, it comes with a holster, and the holster itself um, is on a hanger system, and it has a spacer in between, um, I guess, your thigh and the holster itself, so it kind of brings the gun out a little bit, and uh, it makes for a really comfortable um, grab. It also came with uh, four uh, magazine pouches, and these magazine pouches, you can uh, convert them from uh, single stack to double stack. And so the holster itself, um, it has uh, these knurled knobs, so you can change the retention on the holster. So you can make it lighter for um, you know uh, uh, draw practice at home, and then heavier for running gun stuff. Uh, the magazine pouches as well. You can also adjust the tension just on the fly with your thumb. Um, it, it's set up really well. Uh, the magazine pouches themselves are great. Uh, sorry for the cringe, but I'm, I'll do some draws real quick. So I'm loaded up here with a with an empty magazine. So I have dummy rounds in these, so they'll just go ahead and load a little bit um, easier. But so basically, you know, they would say, you know, make ready. Okay, shoot ready, stand by. Beep. You know, if, uh, if done, show unloading, or unload, show clear, and hammer down. So it, it's a great uh, belt system. Um, it's set up in a way that you can index your finger on the magazine pouch and catch the, uh, like the, I guess the leading edge of the magazine. So that when you pull the magazine out, you can index it uh, with your gun. Um, one thing to mention, if you do uh, buy um, the holster, the rig kit, uh, go ahead and, and buy some of this also. So this is just a blue Loctite, and what you're gonna to wanna to do, and let me go ahead and take this off real quick. So the rig itself, so you, you take this off, and then you go ahead and you take the belt off. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do uh, if you buy this is you're gonna to wanna to get that Loctite and just apply a drop um, to every screw that you see. And like even I took the holster off um, of the hanger and just applied Loctite on every screw on this thing. Um, this is like a solid machine. I think it's a piece of aluminum and it goes into aluminum threads and like there's not a like a lock wash or anything so uh, You're really going to want to just um, Loctite everything. Um, I Loctited everything on mine and I have not had any issues whatsoever with anything um, coming loose um, with the uh, magazine uh, pouches, so uh, This is the space that you can index your finger on so for instance, when you go and uh, you reach for your magazine, so this is actually, it's like hollow. You can stick your finger in there, uh, if that makes sense. So you can, you know, actually grab and uh, you're not sliding on anything. Um, other than that, I also uh, took these, it's like on a ball joint, so it's fully adjustable. You can can it out, in, up, down, left, right, you know, kind of whatever you want to do. Um, I took these uh, bolts out and Loctited them as well. So the way I have this belt set up right now, it's uh, it's maybe not the pro way to do it, but it's it's uh, convenient for me at least. So, and here's the inner uh, Velcro um, belt that you would get as well. So for me, the reason why I have it set up like this is because um, number one, I can bend down and pick crap up off the ground, and number two, I can sit down. There's not you know there's no magazine uh, pouches back here or anything like that. And number three, I can look down and I can make sure that um, this tab, nobody's like run into it and my you know, belt doesn't fall off or something. Not that that would happen, but uh, you know, sometimes it matches a lot of people get kind of crammed in together and I don't want like anybody like 
I accidentally flipping my stub hook and so I, I like to be able to look down and see it I've seen the pros they take like this part and they have it on the back if that makes sense and then you can get the mag carriers um, up a little bit closer I also have them canted like this so that uh you know when I run dry and then I go to grab the magazine I can always just put my finger down and then if there's nothing in this one I can go to the next one if there's nothing in this one I can go to the next one etc and I also have them um, angled like this just because that's um, kind of how my hand naturally goes down. So I, I'm not a, like a master USPSA shooter or anything like that. I'm sure that uh, other people have better techniques out there. I'm just showing you what I do um, because it is uh, leisurely, I guess. But um, anyways, um, it comes with inserts so you can make these uh, single stack mag pouches. Um, you do have to pull a little thing out uh, one thing too on the belt is uh, once you get everything locked in place, uh, it, it's kind of set up to where uh, you're, it's not a belt that you're going to want to move stuff and arrange around in a lot. Um, so everything is uh, Allen keyed in. So like these are all set in with Allen keys and um, you know these are all set in with Allen keys. So it, it's not like a, a quick change system or anything. So. If you want to move uh, this mag pouch, you got to take out um, this the middle, the ball joint. There's like a little hole right there. You could take that out, and then you got to take all four Allen keys out, and then you can slide it left or right. But um, honestly, for gear like this, you know how, how often are you really going to be rearranging it? And um, if you do want to rearrange it, if you if you first get it and you don't know how you want to arrange it, you know just put like two bolts in, and then kind of feel it out and, and see how you like it, and then. Uh, you know, if you don't like it, um, you know, you don't have to take out that many screws. I mean, I to me, it, it's not a big deal at all. Um, two things that I did to uh, do to um, the equipment once I got it. So um, right here, I put some black duct tape. So that's just duct tape. So that's when my hand comes down. Uh, if it slaps that right there, there's like a little bit of soft padding. Um, I noticed my knuckle was kind of hitting the hard uh, plastic edge right here. And I was getting like a just like a little bit of skin taken off, like nothing crazy or anything, but it kind of like prevents you from slapping down on that, if that makes sense. Um, what else? I also had some Velcro laying around, so I just went ahead and, and put some Velcro in here and just on the spots that didn't have Velcro. I don't think that that's absolutely necessary, but um, yeah, other than that, uh, it's, it's been a great belt. Um, I haven't had any issues with it at all. Um, I just bought a TLR for my uh, three, uh, 320 Max. It's like probably the same pattern as like a 320 Legion. Uh, so I'm going to be buying a uh, 320 um, TLR 7 holster from them. And so I'll, I'll be putting that holster probably on uh, this hanger if I so choose to do so. So anyways, uh, thank you for your time. And uh, uh, if, if this provided value uh, to you and you like to see more content like this, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, whatever. So thanks. Have a great one. Bye.